All right, so in this one here, we are going to test a binomial distribution. And so consider that we uh, have a deck of cards, and it's a regular fair deck of cards at a 5% level. We want to test and see if it is a fair deck of cards. And so writing our, uh, we have to recognize that we're going to choose eight cards in total. And so then x is going to belong to a binomial distribution where I know n is 8 and my probability of success is 0.5. Success meaning pulling a black card. So our null and alternative hypothesis is we are going to consider this where p is probably pulling a black card. So the deck of cards meaning we have the probability of pulling a black card is 50%. Um, the deck of cards is not fair meaning it's going to be more than 5%. Um, and I know for our exams, the IB exams are always going to assume that it's a one-sided scenario. And I know technically we're going to say it's like not 5%, but because of this uh, criteria, we're going to assume that it's more than 5%. So just work with me on that to illustrate this example. So I want to determine the critical region for this test if we draw eight cards. Well, it's a binomial situation, so you have to consider like what's going on here. Okay, and so there's going to be a probability pulling 0, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8 cards. Each of these has a certain probability attached to it. When I add up all these probabilities, they are going to add up to 1. And this, I know this is 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. And so I want to I know 5% is my critical level, so I'm going to start adding all these probabilities up. And I want these probabilities to be 95% when I go from the left-hand side. And so the probabilities on the right-hand side, I want them to add up to 5%. But because it's discrete, I don't think it's going to work out quite so nicely. So I'm going to go to my calculator now. I'm going to find all these probabilities. And so starting from the, adding from the right, we will consider that I have binomial distribution uh, cumulative adding from the right. And if I look at my values, I can see that they start to add up cumulatively. And at 5, I've got 85%. At 6, including 6, I have the value of 96%. So here, if I consider everything from 6 over, this is 96.96, right? The 5 over here is 0.855. And so I know 95% is what I'm looking for, and so if I would break the critical region at 5, within going through 6 is going to have the 86%, 87%, 88%, all the way 95%, and up to including 96%. So the 95-5% the barrier is in the middle of 6. And so I can't actually have it be in 6 because maybe it wasn't enough. And so what happens is 6 ends up being my barrier. And so I know the critical region is going to be if I pick 7 cards or 8 cards, then my critical region is going to be x is bigger than or equal to 7 because then I will reject the null hypothesis. Anything less than 6, including 6, will, uh, will not be my critical region. So I will believe that it is a fair card. So, um, so what I do is to find this critical region, I look for this 5% slash 95%. It falls in this region here in 6 and I go more extreme than that. I go to the next value more extreme, so not so I go break it up, include 6 into the whole region, and so there is my boundary. So if 0 to 6 is my boundary, if that's the safe zone to not reject the null hypothesis, 7, 8 rejects the null hypothesis, the actual level of significance of the test then, the actual level is going to be the probability that x equals 7 plus the probability that x equals 8. 8 is the actual significance of the test, those two red portions here. So if I want to find that, 
I know that up to 6 is 96.4. So then I want to subtract that. So I'm going to go, in order to find that then, I'm going to go, uh -huh. I'll quit that. I'm going to go 1 minus, oh, I already have that done in here. So here is my probabilities here. And so if I consider my table, if I turn this one on, I can find my probabilities of 1 minus that. And so what I can see is when I include this one here, the 96 is part of the 6. My probability of rejecting the null hypothesis is going to be 3, 5, 1, 6. The level of significance is going to be 0 0.0352 because that is add, these two here actually add up 7 and 8, the way that this is subtracted. It's 1 minus including, 1 minus the, including the 6. So this is 7 and 8. Here's our level of significance of the test. So in class, I actually perform an experiment, and we do it. So let us pretend, let us pretend that we draw 7 black cards. Actually, let's pretend we draw eight black cards. If we actually draw eight black cards, the conclusion then, well, therefore, we would reject H naught and say it is an unfair deck, an unfair deck, as the probability is more than 0 0.05. And the, the p-value in this case, if I want to know the p-value, well, then I'm going to look for actual probability of exactly 8. And that's this value here, 0 0.0391. So if I do it, I can, I can go here, distributions. I'm going to go binomial PDF. I have 8 trials, 0.5, and let's say it's 8 exactly. And so my p-value is equal to 0 0.00391, which is smaller than alpha. And again, I'm rejecting the null hypothesis. And so thinking about this boundary here takes a lot of thought. Be really careful with it. And so basically, what I try to do is I try to find where is the 95-5% rule? Where does that exist? In this case, it happens in the middle of 6. So I go more extreme. Okay, if it would have been less than some some value, and I would be looking at this end, I would find where is that five and ninety five percent go, and I would go more extreme in this sense, meaning closer to zero. And so you really have to think carefully about where to put that boundary.